Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. You may know that if you come by. Um, and if you do come by, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. If you're new here, hey, I'm Jim. I edit photos. That sounds redundant, and it is. Anyway, let's talk about editing photos. I am just back from a little fun uh, holiday thing, kind of a ramble road trip around New England, uh, Maine, Vermont, New Hampshire, things like that. It was fantastic. It was a lot of fun. I get so excited when I go travel and I have some new photos to play with. Uh, I've got two I'm gonna play with here real quick today. These are both iPhone shots. I have an iPhone 7. I was counting, I was like, there was an eight, and then I was there a nine, I can't remember, and then there was a 10, and an 11, and a 12. I'm like way behind on the whole iPhone thing. I was this close to getting a 12, then I was like, well, maybe I can wait a little while. Uh, anyway, I'm getting off topic. The point is, I got a cruddy old iPhone. The photos need editing. That's what I'm using Illuminar AI for. And, um, you know, I had this great sunset at this lake in Waterbury, Vermont. And um, let me just tell you, uh, the image quality is not particularly great, but the colors were great and the scene is beautiful. So I'm going for kind of a soft, dreamy, somewhat colorful kind of a look at this photo. So I'm doing that here in Luminar AI. So I'm just going to play around with a few sliders. I mean, I've I've kind of done this a little bit, but I don't have any notes. I'm, I don't want to call it like, uh, I don't want to pretend like I'm winging it because I have edited these photos before, but I don't have any notes, so I'm kind of doing it by feel here. And more than anything, what I want to do is basically take a photo that started out like the raw materials, for lack of a better word, are good, right? Um, I'm not trying to brag about my photo taking. I went like that. I went click. Um, by the way, I also took many, many photos here with my real camera, my Sony, but I haven't had time to do all that stuff. So um, I have this iPhone shot. It's just, you know, it's an iPhone shot. Uh, anyway, so I'm making a few adjustments here based on what I want to do. And one of the things I want to do is kind of soften it up. As I said, I'm going a little bit dreamy. Structure AI is great for that. Go negative. I'm going across the entire photo here. Uh, I don't want to go all the way and do that, although honestly, I kind of like that. It's kind of painterly. And I like paintings. I cannot paint, but I like to observe paintings. But um, I've got you know a decent looking thing here, but I want to give it a little bit of a boost. And that's where Golden Hour comes in handy. And I think that really helps quite a bit. Let me see what I've got so far. Like I said, I'm kind of winging it, but there it is before. And I've got a couple of spots I took out. There it is, current state. Honestly, I kind of like that. I mean, that's what it looked like. And uh, you know, it's a beautiful scene. And I think these little edits here real quick in Luminar AI have really brought it together. I think the, the colors look good. The overall scene looks pretty good. The only other thing I might do is pop down to toning and in highlights, give that a little bit more warmth just because I like to. It kind of pops it a little bit more. And um, if you've been here before, you know I'm a fan of mystical. And I might slap a little bit of mystical on there. You just gotta be careful when you go like that, it creates a higher contrast image. And that's too dreamy for me and too high contrast. And also you notice as I drag it to the right, part of that high contrast is not just the stuff getting really dark along the shoreline, but the clouds getting really bright. I don't wanna do that. So back at zero, I'm gonna start at zero and I just kinda of tend to drag it a little bit and see what looks good and kind of see what my, for lack of a better word, what my breaking point is. And I think around 20 is the place I wanna stop. I think it's given it a nice little pop to the photo. Let me find my mouse, there it is. Um, there it is before that mystical and after. I think that's it, honestly, I think I'm done with the photo. So there it is before and after. I got another one, same sunset, slightly different part of the lake. Honestly, I was probably 15 or 20 yards um, away. That the last photo, I was kind of over here, and now I'm a little bit over here, closer to a cove that I was parked at. But I'm gonna do some similar things here. I just wanna play around and see what I can come up with. And so I'm gonna go Accent AI. I love how that impacts the sky and really helps me balance the light. Sky Enhancer comes in kind of clutch there and darkening that sky helps me create a little bit more contrast between those clouds and of course the blue sky behind them. Speaking of blue sky, I'm gonna go tiny bit of blue here tiny bit of tint. It's just something I like to do. Some a contrast to add to that. Maybe put on the highlights just a tad. Uh, I think that looks pretty nice. I'm going to do the same thing with Structure AI. However, I'm going to mask it in. So I want to go softer. I really like how the clouds look here. When I go pretty light, uh, or I should say pretty heavy, pretty low on that negative structure. But I'm going to erase it from the uh, tree line here because I want to keep those looking kind of crisp. I think they're neat looking. I like these trees. They were a good little framing element for the photo. And I'm doing a sloppy job, my friends. Um, I am just kind of wiping this across there. And I'm going to go a little bit across these mountains as well. I recommend taking your time and doing that a little bit slower. 
and uh, a little bit more accurately, but I wanted to take it out of those areas. I don't want to soften up those details. I just wanted to soften the water and, of course, the sky. Once again, because it was sunset, I'm going to give it a little bit of golden hour, and I think that's really popping that um, those trees. However, uh, I also want to give it a little bit of foliage enhancer, which I don't do a lot, but if I I'm going to go back to zero on that. You see that there before, and as I drag that, that green gets really intense. I don't want to go too far, but it's kind of getting really bright and really colorful, but maybe a little too much. So I'm going to go to HSL. I'm actually going to mess with the hue on the green a little bit. If I go to the right, it gets super green. If I go to the left, it gets a little bit more yellow. I don't want to do too much there, but I might take the saturation down just a little bit and maybe... Um, Luminance, let me look at that, see if that comes down. That gets a little too dark. I'm actually gonna go a little bit to the right with the luminance. It kind of accentuates the light where that golden light is hitting those trees. And I think that looks pretty cool. Let me show you what I've done to the trees. Uh, well, the greens really. There it is before and there it is after. It's a little pop, but it is a pop and I think it looks nice. And landscape enhancer, let me check this as well. There it is before landscape, uh, not landscape enhancer, landscape, which includes golden hour and foliage enhancer. But there it is before that and after. Major, major difference. I think that's all I'm going to do to the, no, I'm not, I'm lying to you, my friends. I'm sorry. I'm going to do one more thing, and that is I'm going to go get a basic local mask. I'm going to get a gradient mask, and I'm going to drag that in right over here. Something about like that, and maybe a little bit higher, something like that. And I'm going to increase that exposure just a tiny, whoa, not that much, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to go more negative structure simply because I kind of like that extra blur kind of going into the reflections and softening up the water a little bit more than it originally was. So if I turn this off and if you look at that bottom part of the photo, you can see there it is a little bit darker and a little bit less soft. And now when I turn this back on, you can see a little bit softer, a little bit brighter. And um, I think that's it, my friends. That's a full edit of this one. So there it is before, and also took a spot out and a little bit of tree at the top right of the photo. Uh, and the after, let me show you that sliding. Really major pop, major impact on the photo. And I think these two photos together really summarize that evening at the lake. I've got real photos, I'm gonna edit them. Who knows, maybe they'll show up in a video in some future date, but that photo and that photo really summarize a wonderful evening I had at a lake in Waterbury, Vermont really recently on my little trip up there. Just wanted to walk through a quick edit, give you some ideas. I edit iPhone photos in Luminar AI all the time, and really it comes down to the fact that I've got an iPhone 7, the quality is not particularly great, and um, I, I can use Luminar to make a much better looking photo than I would ever get to um, on my own without Luminar. So that's it, my friends. Hope it gives you some ideas. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out, being cool, all that kind of stuff. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you really soon, and adios.